If you are building an AI app, then you can understand the challenge we face around long-term memory for AI agents and applications. Chat history storage is an infrastructure challenge all developers and enterprises face as they look to move from prototypes to productionizing LLM AI chat applications that provide rich and intimate experiences to the users. Zep allows developers to focus on developing their AI apps rather than building memory persistence, search and enrichment infrastructure. Rapidly prototyping LLM based chat and agent application has never been easier. I already have covered a lot of frameworks like Langchain, Llama Index and various others which are doing fantastic job in order to enable you to build your own AI applications whether they are for chatting, they are for text summarization, QA and lot of other use cases. But the problem is that when you try to take that software to production it becomes quite hard because you have to make sure that whatever AI app you are using is maintaining the context and the long term memory, especially the long term history. Because if a customer has come this week and if they come back again in two to three months, their history is not there. That is where, in very simple words, this Zap AI helps out. So not only it helps it out but it also provides you a full sdk which you can leverage it provides you personalized re-engagement of user based on their chat history it you can do the prompt evaluation you can do analysis of historical data and there are it is the possibilities are limitless because it is not not just about long term memory persistence for your ai agent it is about like you can uh, configure message windows that stores a series of summaries allowing for flexibility in future summarization strategies you can do vector search auto token counting and the list goes on and on and on by the way you can also integrate it with langchain okay it is open source and you can also check it out on the github maybe i will quickly take you to its github page let me load it in my other browser and so this project is really cool so this is their github repo and they have described it in great great detail as how you can use it now i'm not going to go into this detail so in order to use zap sign up with your email account for a free account once you sign in you'll be presented with this screen where you can start creating your first project so i already have filled in my project name test testing uh, they also give you the model choice i'm not sure if llama is available but i'll go with gpt 3.5 and then let's click on create project let me make it bit bigger because it is quite dull there you go much better okay so let's create project here while that happens let me take you to my vs code you would also need to create uh, or install zap on your local system or whatever coding platform you are using the command is simple pip install dash dash pre zap dash python so i already have installed it we would also need an api key and i will also sh be showing you um, the code as how it looks like in the python sdk okay let's go back to zap and then complete our project key installation now i'll just say test key and then create I'm just going to copy it and then I'll, I'll uh, rotate it so don't worry about you know copy pasting it let me just paste my API key here just to save it so that we will be using it in the code later on wow it's a long long key okay that is done let's go back to our zap platform and then click on done and you can see that you know they have given us so we have installed the SDK and then there are a few steps which you need to do you can uh, mark as completed then there are a lot of things which you, can, which you can do with Langchain as I was mentioning earlier Chainlit it's quite comprehensive can't be done in one video so this is just to give you an idea now we have created our project and we have um, got the API key on the left hand side we have the uh, project so you can have multiple projects the users which you can use with it and you can with the full team and then there are a few sessions which you can establish 
collection and lot of other things okay so let's uh, let me now show you the code as how you can keep the message history with zap so let's go back to our vs code and i will show you the code there so this is my vs code first as usual we are importing some of the libraries and modules needed from zap we are specifying our api key then a new session identifier for our session and this is some of the prompting which we are saying human a human chat we are just giving it a prompt template and this is the history it is saving and then messages it is looping through those messages and also keeping the memory and then it is storing the result now what i'm thinking not only you can store it in or you can just use it in memory or you can even store it in my, your vector database and lot of other things so all you need to do is to run this code and that's about it so there you go so it has run fine and it has stored all of our uh, memory here and it can store a long memory context as i mentioned and if you look through the code this is a very very simple code and you can embed it in any of your ai application use any model use any sdk use any framework and then just integrate zap with it and give your chatbots a long memory how cool is that really impressed by this project i'll be making few more videos uh, for the more advanced and complex scenarios but i think this video should give you a head start in order to get started with this awesome tool and if you go through their website they also have given a lot of um, good use cases for example these are some of the features which you can check out from their website and another cool thing is that it just doesn't run with types uh, python you can have typescript and you can have few other languages too and as i mentioned earlier you can integrate with langchain llama index langflow and lot of other things some of them i don't even know what they are like and it and seems interesting should i should have a look at it anyway and this is a code which i already have shown you and run where it has uh, you know classified the chats and then you can also extract the structured data from the dialog you can use pydantic for it too like the base model i think that is what they are using behind the scene which i and i did another video on pydantic just yesterday anyway i could on, go on and on but the crux of the matter is really good if you are looking to give long term memory to your ai chatbots zap is one good choice i will drop the link to their website in video description play around it let me know your thoughts in the comments if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching